The ThinkPad E15 Generation 2 aims at the budget business laptop crown, fighting with the HP ProBook 450 G8 and the Dell Latitude 153510. Thankfully, this year, you can only purchase the laptop with a 1080p panel, which means no 768p nonsense. However, keep an eye for the imposter in the face of the TN panel, you wouldn't want that either. Lenovo is known for its industrial designs. Thus the ThinkPad E15 Generation 2 won't catch the eye with its looks. However, it is practical and light with its 1.7 kilos. For a touch of premium feel, the manufacturer has made the lid aluminum. Unsurprisingly, you get one of the best keyboards on the market. It has both long travel and good feedback. Moreover, it is spill resistant and has a backlight. Thankfully, the power button is separated from the rest of the keys and sports an optional fingerprint reader. Some of the other key features include the privacy shutter on the camera, and the ThinkPad specialty, the trackpoint. First and foremost, you get a Thunderbolt 4 connector. Other than that, there are two USB type of ports, one 3.2 generation 1 and one 2.0. In addition, there is an HDMI 1.4B connector, an Ethernet jack, and an audio jack. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. Contrary to the HP ProBook 450 G8, there is only one SOTOM slot for memory expansion. On the other hand, there are two M.2 slots that fit 42 and 80mm drives, respectively. If you want to see how to open the laptop, you can check out our teardown video. This machine features a 1080p display with either an IPS or a TN panel. It would be best to avoid the TN1. Thankfully, the IPS option has wide viewing angles and a decent contrast ratio of 950 to 1. Even though it doesn't produce a very punchy image with its 53% sRGB coverage, the panel doesn't use PWM for brightness adjustment. This makes it safe to work for long periods of time, in this aspect. We got average battery life from this machine. It can stay on for up to 7 hours of web browsing or video playback. The best configuration you can get has the Core i7-1165G7 and the GeForce MX450. This laptop is no slouch when it comes to performance. Indeed, the Core i5-1135G7 isn't the most demanding processor out there, but it can maintain a frequency of about 2.6 GHz for long periods of time, without being too warm at the same time. When put side by side with other notebooks in this class, the ThinkPad E15 Generation 2 shows superior performance. This is due to its well-calculated cooling system. Additionally, you can take advantage of the great keyboard, IPS display with wide viewing angles and good contrast ratio, and useful upgrade options. Although its input-output is not top-notch, the optional IR face recognition and fingerprint reader make the device an easy choice for business computing. If you'd like to find more information about this machine, you can see all of the tests we performed in our in-depth review. The link is in the video description below.